if you're facing connectivity issues with your Google Wi-Fi, then connecting it across multiple access points as a wired backhaul can help the situation immensely. But this might raise questions whether your Google Wi-Fi actually supports a wired backhaul connection. Well, I'll be helping you with just that and a bit more. Welcome to Blink Blink, let's get started. You might have a hard time getting a proper Wi-Fi signal if your home has multiple rooms, walls and floors between you and your Wi-Fi router. In such cases, having a mesh Wi-Fi router like Google Wi-Fi makes a lot of sense as you can set up access points in each and every room ensuring that you have the same coverage across. This wireless connection between your mesh router and your access points is called wireless backhaul and Google implements the same with their Nest router with Google Wi-Fi points acting as their access points. So do set up a wireless backhaul connection with us as well by clicking on that subscribe button. We have plenty of Google Wi-Fi content planned ahead. But the issue with the wireless backhaul connectivity is that the wireless access points can have stability and speed issues as well. This is where a wired backhaul comes into picture, essentially hardwiring your internet router with its access points by using Ethernet cables directly to your modem. Unfortunately, Google is yet to release a Wi-Fi point that has an Ethernet port built in, so there is no way you can set up a wired backhaul using your Nest Wi-Fi point as an access point. But fortunately, there is technically a way you can use your Google Wi-Fi to set up a wired backhaul. To implement a wired backhaul connection with your Google router, you'll need your Google router, of course. You'll also need access to your internet modem. You'll also need an Ethernet switch to hardwire your connections. Make sure that the switch is of good quality and is made by a reputed brand. You will also need another router with an Ethernet port like the Google Nest Wi-Fi that I have here. This will act as an access point in your wired backhaul connection. Your access points need not be made by Google and you can have multiple access points depending on the capacity of your Ethernet switch. Just note that you can't have your Google Wi-Fi point as an access point. Finally, you will also need Ethernet cables. You will be needing plenty of them and make sure that they are of really good quality. Now, the steps to set up your Google Wi-Fi as a wired backhaul is the same as setting up any conventional router for your wired backhaul connection. The first step is to set up your Ethernet switch by directly plugging it to your modem. Then, using Ethernet cables, connect your access points like your Google Wi-Fi router and other routers to your Ethernet switch that is connected to your modem. Just make sure to connect your WAN port which is marked by a globe symbol on your Google Wi-Fi router. And that's pretty much how you connect your Google Wi-Fi router in a wired backhaul fashion. If you have further queries, do comment down below and check out our in-depth article from our website blingbling.com which I've made sure to plug in the description below. If you found this video useful, do give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more smart home content.